Let me see gun times come from. We alive. Bay State running, powered by Marathon Sports. Coach Shep. Coach H. We have our Division 3A previews. previews. This is uh, one of the races out at Stanley Park, one of the divisional meets. We'll have 10 individuals moving on that aren't on one of the qualifying seven teams or one of the two wild card spots. So we'll jump right into it with the girls race. Um, to me, it's a two girl battle, maybe a three girl battle. You have uh, Julie Hohenberg from Weston. She ran that 1858 at Twilight. Not far behind her was Fiona Pacone um, from Oakmont. Also ran that at the Twilight meet. Mm -hmm. um, there, another girl, Madeline Germain, the sophomore from Norfolk County. She ran 1835 at the Mayflower Conference. We're not sure how quick that course was mm -hmm. um, or what the deal is. It's, it's tough with cross country because all courses are um, not equal by any means. So we'll see if she can um, be in the mix for there. And you also have Claire Davies who ran 1907 on that super fast From sandwich. That Frank Mooney course. So those look to be like the individual girls that will have a chance at the individual title. What's the team title age? On the team title side, Julie Holmberg in her first cross country season, the BC <coughs> commit under the coach, legendary coach Mons, I don't see. Weston looks like they're the team to be in yeah. 3A as far as girls. Chasing the Western girls will be Linfield. And how about those Seacon girls? Back at it again. Yeah, Coach Mooney, Frank Mooney, legendary, always always in the mix. Um, I, You know, the, the Western girls, you also have Alexandra um, Jabris and um, Jackie, Olivia Jackson. Olivia that, Jackson. You know, yeah. have potential top 10. So if Weston puts three girls in the top 10, you know, and, and the other girls are in the top 20, it's, it's lights out. Um, but I want to give a shout out to Nipmuc. Yep. Nipmuc Regional will be there. And um, a lot of teams, East Bridgewater girls, yep. have a shot. Shout out to my alma mater. You have uh, Phoebe uh, Catilius um, leading the charge. Um, if she can get, you know, the East Bridgewater girls can have a low group. Um, you never know. It looks like it's going to be some high scores in this uh, Division 3A for the girls. Yes. Keep an eye on Ainsbury Bellingham trying to compete for that yeah, same spot. Yeah, kind of the group, you know, and obviously we may miss some schools, but that's who we think will be in the mix. Let's move on to the boys, and this is an easy one as far as the individual battle goes. Yeah. Not sure if he has a team, um, but Marcus Riley. Um, the, Look out. The super stud yeah. from Northbridge ran that fifteen twenty four at the Frank Mooney meet um, solo. So we won't get the matchup this week that we're looking forward to. But, but next week it's going down. Next week with him and, and Ross, Aiden Ross, we get to see a, a nice little battle. I, I, I believe Uxbridge and Northbridge are neighboring towns or wow. right around each other. So um, other individuals um, that will be fighting for second place for sure in that division will be Jack Collins, Norfolk. He, he ran that 1615 on, on that um, fast Rentham course. Um, Daniel Kersey from Bellingham. And uh, shout out to Nick Uzo from East Bridgewater, Coach McCabe, my alma mater, still doing it 40 plus years, yes. still getting it done. Shout um, out to Coach. You know, they'll be trying to sneak into all states as well, which would be nice um, for both their girls and boys teams. Uh, anyone else you want to mention? You have. Well, you got to take a look at my main man, Maximilian Sullivan, another sandwich kid. Max has been working hard. Max is one of those kids who's had a great last three years. Yeah, he's got a, he's got some quick track speed. Yeah, uh, so quick, Max is yeah. definitely in the mix, the sandwich boy. However, though, switch gears on the... On well, the we got to mention Zachary Lavender Lavender because, you know, he's got that 1633 from the Twilight Meet, but he's going to be trying to lead his team. Correct, and that was where I was going to segue in that coach, the legendary Coach Mooney... Is at it again. You would think that after Andrew Cabral graduated in that group of Henry Jordan, they have mustered it again. So gotta love C Conk and yeah, the chances. Well, they're they're similar to Weston. If um, Leverdier and Noah Amaral and Caden Sears, if they can put just a freshman, Caden Sears, if they can put three in the top ten, that'll be really hard for Hamilton Wenham, who's more of a pack. Uh, man tally, not really any front runners, but a, a tight pack between their one through five. Not sure they can come back from Seekonk going one through three, but 
Only time will tell. Other teams, Bishop Staying, Ipswich, Weston. We mentioned East Bridgewater. Yes. Norfolk County, Amesbury. Those would be kind of the, some of the other teams that are yeah. fighting for one of those top seven spots. And who knows, maybe the wild cards could come out of these divisions as well. There may be some teams that we didn't even get to. But that's our Division 3A preview. Stanley Park.